Yeah, this is a this is a topic that our group has been working intensively, and we recently published a review about that. And it was a bit of a reflection. Um, I think in oncology, probably as in any other specialty, when there is the arrival of a new therapy, initially we tend to position that new therapy up front, and we tend to think what we had before should be left aside. And, and probably that happened a little bit with chemotherapy in bladder cancer, but it's not true and it's not correct to make that assumption. We have been able to demonstrate that chemotherapy still has a role in some patients with urothelial bladder cancer. So for instance, in, in the first line setting, still chemotherapy is able to achieve a high uh, rate of response and should be utilized and is still the standard of care for many patients. So we need to keep in mind that cisplatin gemcitabine is a very active regime for patients with metastatic bladder cancer and should be probably our priority in patients with advanced urothelial cancer that are what we call fit for cisplatin. Other settings where chemotherapy could have a role, well, we have those patients that we call unfit for cisplatin, so those patients that are not in a good condition to receive cisplatin-based chemotherapy. In those patients, it's true that immunotherapy has arrived, but we know, based on recent data, that only patients that have a high expression of what we call PDL1 will benefit potentially from immunotherapy. The other patients with a low expression of PDL1 should still be considered for chemotherapy. Probably carboplatin and gencytabine would be the ideal regimen in that setting. What else? Well, we have a number of studies combining chemotherapy with immunotherapy, and I think that's a smart strategy. We know that utilizing things like chemotherapy or other treatment strategies may get that the tumor gets inflamed and then immunotherapy may be more active. This is a still a hypothesis. There are a number of studies ongoing that combine chemo and immunotherapy, and we're still waiting for that data.